They're all scared, and I don't blame them. Many of you are not scared of this charade. You're more scared of what the government are getting away with. But some people are entirely terrified of the virus. Take my wife's friends, for example. Despite them all being fully vaccinated and wearing masks at every opportunity, they are literally scared of leaving their house. They are scared that their unvaccinated children will be exposed to the virus and die. They are scared that if they talk to anybody else, they're going to catch the virus and send themselves to an early grave. They are terrified. And you know what? I don't blame them. Every day the government and the media spread fear. They make it sound like that the human race is on the brink of extinction. But it's simply not true, no matter what artificially inflated numbers you look at. Children are the least likely to be harmed by COVID in any of its forms. Here's two charts from the Australian Government's National Interoperable Notifiable Disease Surveillance System. A total of three people under the age of 20 have died who tested positive to COVID. Three in the entire two-year pandemic. And those deaths aren't even definitively proven to have been caused by COVID. So three is probably even an exaggeration. My wife's friends are completely terrified that their children will die from COVID, but the numbers simply don't warrant that fear. So why are they scared? Because every day plastered all over the news are fear mongers convincing us that we are all going to die unless we do exactly what the government tell us to do. And my wife's friends have done exactly what the government have asked of them, but yet they are still in a state of complete and utter fear. Why? because the government and the media have gone too far. Perhaps at one stage they were trying to scare people so that they would go out and get vaccinated. But now that most people have got the vaccine, they still spread their lies. They still keep the fully vaccinated in a perpetual state of fear. They keep mandating masks even for those who have the lowest risk of harm. One of my wife's friends has completely lost her mind because of all of this. She has two young children and will not let them go outside. They are housebound. Their mum thinks that going outside will result in them dying because the government has scared her to the point of mental breakdown. This sucks. I mean, this really sucks. The amount of harm that the government may have prevented with lockdowns and mandates and fear campaigns has been completely offset by the amount of mental harm they have brought on the community. Luckily, I don't promote fear in my household. I take my kids outside whenever they want to. My wife takes them to the shops whenever they want to. They don't wear masks. They don't legally have to. And they're not scared. Sure, they've had a few runny noses during the pandemic, but they're fine. They're feeling physically and mentally strong. But the same can't be said of some of their friends. Their parents have sent them into a permanent state of fear that they may never recover from. So what can be done to fix this terrible injustice? 1. Stop publishing case numbers. It's such a stupid statistic that only serves to make people scared. Remembering a case can be somebody who hasn't even felt sick. 20,000 cases means nothing if only a handful of them ever see the inside of a hospital. The only numbers that should be published are hospitalizations and deaths. 2. Stop using anti-scientific promotion of the harms of the virus. If you look at when they interview people who have had COVID, it's always the vaccinated, and they always say the same thing. If it wasn't for the vaccine, I'd be in hospital or dead. That doesn't, that's not a scientific assessment in any way. That's an assumption at best. If the journalists want to do the right thing, how about they show an unvaccinated person who has had the virus and was fine? Hi, I'm John. I never got vaccinated. I caught COVID and I'm fine. Heck, even show a vaccinated person who had the virus and was fine. But they don't. They don't want to show that the vast majority of people who catch this illness are completely fine. They only want you to be scared. 3. Show common sense COVID information like this chart. If you don't have a fever, you probably don't have COVID. People are racing out to get tested for COVID because they have a runny nose and the government told them at one point that if you have any symptoms, no matter how small, you should go out and get tested. People are rocking up to hospitals because they think they have COVID because they coughed a couple of times last night. Everyone's scared and confused. And I've had enough of it. The government keep telling us that they're here to protect us, but instead they've caused the most societal harm that we may have ever witnessed in our lifetimes. 
It's a shame that lots of us can't see it.